Hi, Cassie Hicks here from Modern Marketing Spark and I'm doing day four of my five and five video for Coach Glitter. Hello! Um, but I've actually missed a few days and I'll tell you why. Here come the excuses. I actually totally lost the plot in terms of what the exercise was and what I was supposed to be live streaming on. So I had to take the time at the weekend to go back and have a look at my notes and have a look at the um, the training video again and just see what am I supposed to be live streaming on and I had a look back so I've now I'm now back with the plan <laughs> so this is day four of five but that split over two weeks so what really what I feel very excited about actually is that when I look back at my notes you talked about the fact that when you when you're live streaming through Facebook and building your community you think of it a bit like a magazine or your community you communicate with your community in a way that you've got different things so it's not all just about work and all just about certain topics and I think I tend to get very be very work focused so what I'm excited about is talking about some broader topics than what I normally cover and I thought today I'll just say a few words about being a female entrepreneur what does it mean to be a female entrepreneur entrepreneur well on the plus side, I absolutely love it. I work from my home office, I'm here with my dog, I can pick my kids up and I've just been actually done the school run and walk the dog in the middle of the work day. Um, yes, I'll be working late tonight, but I'll be working late tonight even if I wasn't doing those other things. Um, so I love the freedom, I love doing my own thing, it's absolutely fantastic, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't change. I've been an entrepreneur running my own business for about eight years and I might even be longer than eight years and I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, I would say to somebody starting out, to, to other women entrepreneurs, it's really hard when you've got younger kids. My kids are older now, and what's really interesting is how my business has evolved as the kids have got older. So when I started my business, my kids were quite young, and if you saw my intro video, you'll know my story and why I became an entrepreneur and why I left the corporate world. And as you go through different stages with your children, as they go, you know, when they start school, you suddenly have a bit more time to run your business. But what's really hard, and it's still, my, my kids are older, they're teenagers, and actually my eldest son's leaving school in, in a few months' time, and that's it. He's not staying on for university or sixth form or anything. Um, but my day at the moment still finishes at three, and I, I'm so used to the corporate world, even though I've been doing my own thing for eight plus years, maybe more than eight years, it still seems odd to me that my work day just gets cut off at three o'clock in the afternoon. But you have to get used to that and you just have to know when you sort your, if you've got an online diary like I have, that you just don't schedule anything between three and four because that's pick up time, the kids probably are hungry, that's the time I like, to, what I love about picking my, my youngest son up is that we talk in the car and that's, that's, if, if nothing else, that's the time that we have together when we talk and, you know, I find out what's going on and make sure everything's okay. So that's our sort of, you know, not that we don't talk the rest of the time, but that time in the car when he comes out of school and is decompressing and, you know, letting it all out, that, that's quite a nice time. So it's really interesting. But as my kids have got older, I've obviously got more and more freedom and time to spend on the business. It used to be that when they were really little, I used to work when they were having their nap in the middle of the day. And then I'd work in the evening after they went to bed. And I did that for quite a few years. And they grew out of their naps and I'd just work in the evening. Um, they don't nap anymore, but they're teenagers. So now they don't get up until lunchtime. So on holidays and weekends, they, they're in bed till 12, 1 o'clock. Um, so I can work. I can, I'm up early. So I can do a full day's work before they're up. And then we can go and have a day out. So there are different ways to make it work when you've got kids. It just is different at different stages of school and, and holidays and just juggling all those different things that we have to juggle. So I will see you tomorrow for day five. I love this challenge. I'm really looking forward to the training tomorrow. So take care guys. Speak to you soon. Bye.